hello everyone welcome back to this channel i'm ella and in this video we are going to learn how to set up revit for starting new project and we are going to use a real example for it let's start with opening a new project in default metric in revit press un and go to this length part change your unit on meters and put it on two decimal places okay now, first of all, we are going to set our levels. For this, we need to go to one of these elevations, and actually it doesn't matter which one. The first place you need to check for the exact number for your levels is the column section. So let's look at them first and find the tallest column, which is probably this one. So we need to start from this part. Minus 2.7 is the base level of our building and actually it is top of our foundation we also have the bof which is the base of the foundation which we are going to enter it later for now i'm going to enter this number in here i'm going to go with tof as top of foundation okay and in this part i'm going to enter 2.7 for this part, simply let's just change its name to BOF and enter a number less than this one so it moves under TOF. Okay. For the rest of levels, let's zoom out and in architecture tab, click on this level and simply create another level in here and another one in this part. Now I'm going to change the elevation of this part to 90 centimeter and also change its name to ground story like this for the next level which is on 5 meter i'm going to change it to 5 and also change its name to first story okay now that we set the name to this one you can use simply this pick line for the rest of levels bit of set of let's say four let's just simply create some other levels in here and now we can check the elevation so for the next part we have 8.75 uh, you can just simply change only the elevation for the next part we have 12.5 16.25 20 and this part should be 23.65 which you need to change the name to roof okay delete this one and for the last level we are going to go with 27.3 centimeter and change its name to top perfect for changing these level heads in here you can simply create it yourself i had created a video about this a few times ago so i'm going to put it on this right top corners here if you're interested go watch that i'm going to just simply load my level to here and if you want to change it you need to select your level and go to its edit type in symbol section in here if you click on this part you can find your level in here okay i don't want it to be like this in this part so you need to just simply select one of the levels and click on this add elbow icon and then move your level head down or up but for the exact elevation for this part for the base of the foundation you need to find a section of your foundation which is in here the bof for this foundation is on 3.90 so i'm going to just simply change it to 3.9 and now we are done with all of the levels so after this we need to go to bof or whatever level that you have and start drawing grids these are our grids in here and it's kind of very simple to add them so go to architecture tab and click on this grid here first of all draw one like this and change its name to a for adding the next one you need to select it and with this copy click on it and move it away to this part now i'm going to use these numbers in here to add my grid so first i'm going to enter 
8 cm and after that we have this 591 cm so I'm going to enter 5.91 and then a 25 cm and after that a 30 cm grid the next one is going to be on 1.6 cm distance and the last one is on 2.65 Perfect. Now we need to change these names to A1 and break it to the side like this. For this part also we need to move it to here and the other ones like this. Now we can easily change their name to B, B1 and B2 and two other are going to be C and D. For the other side also, we need to repeat the same. So select the grid and start from this part. First of all, change its name to one and copy it down to here. The first grid is going to be in 23 centimeter. The second one is going to be in 54. Next on 6.25. After that, we have 3.9. Let's move down to here. The next one is going to be on 7.58. And also we have a 10 centimeter. Next one is on 5.61, 3.37. And another one in 29 centimeter. And the last one in 33 centimeter perfect now it's time for adding dimensions so we need to go to annotate and use this aligned for creating annotation between these levels just click on them simply like this and then click outside we also need another one from this part to here so we have the overall length of this side Let's select it and go to its edit type. I want to change the size of these text to 2. And also I want to change the leader type to a line and put this witness line on fixed to dimension. Okay. Now you see in these parts we can't see these numbers. So if you select it, you can move them away like this and also do the same for the other side too. For the other side also, click on aligned and then click on all of these levels. Create the other one from start to end. And now we can move them a little bit away like this and like this. Perfect. Now we have all of the setup, necessary setup for starting a new project. Of course, it might be different with different project and they might need some other extra uh, setups. But this is simply how we can start a new project in Revit. You could also use Pickline for all of these grids simply if you import this plan to your Revit. So for this, you just need to first select the plan itself like this. You don't need the name and press Ctrl C and move it to another new drawing and paste it in here with ctrl v in this part since we want to import it to revit first of all you need to set its unit so click on un and set it on metrics okay so in projects we mainly have a match point it's a point that you need to import all of your plans i mean this is not the only plan that we need to import to revit we might need to import other plans too and we need them to be exactly on the same spot so we create this match point and in most of the times we use one of the columns in a staircase probably this one this one or here in this project we don't have any match point but if you want to set it you just need to select the point for example the center of this column or this column and you need to put this point on the center of your file for this you can either move this point to the zero zero dimension of your 
CAD file or you just simply need to select this icon, this gizmo in here and move it to this part like this. After that, we need to clean it up. So first thing you need to do is to delete these hatches in all of these parts. These are columns and we can't actually delete them, but we can delete these dimension here. Select one and right click, then select similars and delete. If you want, you can also delete these names, the name of the columns and also these dimensions. The next thing we need to do is to make sure there is no line, object or anything on the z-axis. For this, you need to use the flatten like this, type flatten, select it and then select your plan and press OK. Let's delete it and also delete these parts and now we are going to save it as let's say access plan go to revit and in insert tab you can either use link cad or import cad this one for now we are going to use this import cad by default this positioning is set on to origin to internal origin but since we want this part to be in the center of our Revit file, we are going to change it to center to center. In this place, add, since we use this insert import cat in this view, we only have this BOF level in here. And also for the color, you can either preserve it, so you have all of these colors in this Revit file too, or you can put it on black and white so all of the layers in this cat turn into black lines in your Revit. I'm going to use this option for now. And okay. As you can see, it's in the center, but since we added these grids without any reference, you should either delete all of these and use these grids in this document or move this cat to this part. I think the second way is going to be easier, so I'm going to use a line for moving it to the exact location. And also for this part, okay. If we didn't add these grids before manually, you could simply click on this grid and with this pick line, you could pick all of these grids simply. So yes, that's it. I hope this helps you in your Revit project and I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!